Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today from the New York Post, chaos at court as Trump grand jury hearing canceled, Bragg now concerned about indictment and ADA's assistant district attorneys are shaking their heads. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know here, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What we do here on the channel is we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the chaos, we take the tumult from not only the establishment unit party, but also from the mainstream media along with their framing and exaggerations and sensationalizing, and we break it down into very simple terms so everyone can understand. And as we have talked about here, ladies and gentlemen, for the last six years, we have talked about the fact that most, if not everyone knows, at least within government, as well as these DAs, as well as the mainstream media, know that no sitting president nor former president has ever been indicted. And how this is yet a continuation of political theater Similarly to the January 6th events that we saw unfold, that nothing came of it, and in the two years of fabricated Russian collusion nonsense that went on on all the major Trump detracting legacy media networks. And here we are, as we talked about on Saturday, that it is most likely that there is not going to be an indictment because, as we have said about presidents, and the potential chaos that could follow. Now, of course, the Democrats aren't concerned about it, but as I have said, or as we say here, when news happens on the weekends, as it's often referred to in the media business, not that I worked in it, but it's referred to as the time that news media goes to die is on the weekend. So having this happen over the weekend was just a dangling carrot for all the ilk to create suspension, or suspense, I should say suspension. It should to create suspense that something big was going to happen. It was a big, giant distraction is what it was. And our current economy and things that are going on right now with banks failing and people on my Facebook who aren't political are actually concerned about and talking about the banks failing. And, and Joe Biden doesn't need this. It's already evident to everyone. It should be now, as I did a short today, on Dollar Tree, suspending and or pausing the sale of eggs because the price is going up which exceeds their expectation that they have for their customers and their bottom line when it comes to how they sell products. The Manhattan grand jury hearing evidence against former President Donald Trump in the Stormy Daniels hush money case didn't reconvene Wednesday as scheduled court officials told the Post. The afternoon session was unexpectedly canceled by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. The sources said, no, it was canceled because it's part of the theater, because the man's not moving forward. This is absurd. We have passed obsession with Donald Trump, and we have moved completely into psychotic, just absurdity now against Donald Trump, what they call Trump derangement syndrome. I think we're at that point, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I am not a medical professional, so I am simply giving you my humble opinion that we have gone beyond just an obsession with the man all the way down to the point of needing to eviscerate him from the planet. Members of the panel were told to stay home and be on standby for Thursday, a law enforcement source said it's just absolutely extraordinary ladies and gentlemen as we have talked about here on the channel for six years newsweek sudden cancellation of trump grand jury sparks waves of theory. waves of theory you guys perpetuated a russian collusion story for two years then proceeded to censor hunter biden's laptop on purpose and so we're at a point now where rational, reasonable, cogent people are asking each other, what's going on in our country? What is going on here? And as I have contended here, the left was giving an inch because they couldn't reconcile that Donald Trump became president. They couldn't psychologically or emotionally reconcile the fact that Donald Trump became president, and they were just let loose. They took that inch and hijacked our culture, hijacked our language, hijacked everything that's going on in our country to ensure that Joe Biden was going to win and that Donald Trump could not interfere with them again for another four years. It's absolutely astonishing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am but a humble YouTube content creator with 8,000 subscribers trying to explain basic, common, rational things that human beings talk about every day. So I thank you for the support. Not only on YouTube, but also all my new tech followers. Newsweek, sudden cancellation of Trump grand jury sparks waves of theories. Waves of theories. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a break. Speculation is mounting over the grand jury in the Manhattan case involving Donald Trump's alleged hush money payment to former adult film actress Stormy Daniels did not meet Wednesday. 
The jury typically meets on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But for an unknown reason, ladies and gentlemen, an unknown reason, are you serious? An unknown reason. It did not meet today. No, the reason it didn't meet is because you got a show trial. You're dragging this out, trying to create suspense, trying to generate that hatred towards Donald Trump, that emotion. It's all a distraction from what's going on. It has to be seen. You, you, you can't possibly deny that these events are complete and total distractions. It's, it's actually almost a political malpractice. It's, it's malpractice across the board. Manipulating and coercing people while still arguing for disinformation and misinformation to censor people. These legacy media types working alongside the establishment uniparty is absolutely ridiculous. High-ranking law enforcement officials told Business Insider that even if the jury reconvenes Thursday, a vote on a possible indictment of Trump by week's end remains unlikely. Ladies and gentlemen, what Braggs is trying to do is he is trying to suggest that a legal fee paid to Cohen was disguised as hush money to Stormy Daniels. It is not illegal to do this type of transaction. I can't remember the name of the actual legal term for it. But they agreed upon a certain amount. She signed an NDA, as we saw with Avenatti trying to go into the whole legalese of it all and the semantics of it, to suggest that the money that was paid to Cohen was actually hush money to Stormy Daniels, which would have been a felony, or described to by Braggs as a felony. Now, he already tried to pitch this idea to the feds, and the feds shot him down and said, no, this is not even going to happen. It would be a misdemeanor if you were even able to come up with some sort of charge. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the things that the mainstream media does not explain to you. And it's not difficult. This is intentional. Do you guys understand the intentionality of the mainstream media leaving out key, simple, basic information? Simple, basic information. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone can look up here. The GOP rallies to Trump's defense with calls for DA Alvin Bragg to testify as an app. So, they were going to drag him up to Capitol Hill put him in front of a committee and just grill this man into the ground, which would have just been really more positive stuff for Donald Trump because they would have easily demonstrated that this is political theater. This is a political attack on a rival of the Democrats, a rival of the establishment uniparty. So back on Monday, Washington, D.C. appears to be making preparations for crowds and any trouble in the unprecedented event that former U.S. President Donald Trump is criminally indicted. Ladies and gentlemen, this is inciting. Washington, D.C. prepares for this. They want another January 6th. They want the emotional response. They want to create these responses, right? They want to generate this emotion, hoping that someone on the Trump side is going to do something stupid. Now, stupid is what, every, is what all this is. So in the Daily News, unfounded device threats called in against Manhattan D.A. courts, NYPD headquarters, as potential Trump indictment looms. Unfounded device threats were made against Manhattan District Attorney's Office nearby court building and NYPD headquarters on Tuesday as New York ratchets up security in preparation for former President Trump's possible indictment, the Daily, the, the Daily News has learned. As barricades were set up, this, that, and the other. So essentially someone called in a threat to the Manhattan uh, DA's office as well as to the court there in lower Manhattan and apparently to the NYPD headquarters. But it was all, it wasn't true. It was all fabricated because this is all political theater. This is all absurdity, ladies and gentlemen. I can't emphasize it enough. And here's what's amazing. Has everyone forgotten? Here I am, a simple, humble YouTube content creator, was able to find this information quite easily. Well, because I lived through it as well. Clinton will pay 850000 to end Paula Jones's suit. So the pre so. President Clinton agreed Friday to pay $850,000 to Paula Corbin Jones to end her adult activity harassment lawsuit, finally settling a case that began as an embarrassing nuisance for the former Arkansas governor but later sparked a criminal investigation that threatened to topple, his, uh, to topple him from office. Now, it wasn't going to topple him anywhere because he had the protection from the establishment uniparty and the Democrats. It wasn't going to happen, but if it's a Republican, oh, you better believe they're going to go full head steam into it. And you, this is what I'm trying to say, how they can cherry pick stories, cherry pick situations, and cherry pick events. So I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support. Appearing there on the screen will be the channel icon. You can click on that to subscribe as well as to get notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.